Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuy.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to make crosshairs or a scope. Now this can be used for any video where you're looking through like a telescope or through a scope that's on a rifle or a machine gun. Get you those beautiful kill shots. If you're going to make a kill shot, make it beautiful, okay? So this is going to show you how to do it. Now this can be done using Paint.net. Adobe Photoshop Elements or Adobe Photoshop CS whatever let's get into it I have paint open already so I'm going to pull it up on the bottom of the screen first thing first I need to go ahead and set the parameters to match the video parameters so I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080 so I'm going to make my canvas different from what it is right now I'm going to file new I'm going to make the width 1920 and I'm going to make the height 1080 I'm going to click OK now you see that my canvas is white I don't want a white canvas I want one that's black because when you're looking through a scope you know that you're going to see black on the sides and all around except for what you're looking through in the middle so I'm going to make sure that my primary color here is set to black by clicking on it with the left mouse click I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool. I'm going to left click that. I'm going to bring my cursor over onto the canvas and left click here. Now I have a black canvas. Next thing I need is that beautiful circle in the middle of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the ellipse tool. I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to bring my mouse into the canvas and I'm going to make a circle about as close to the middle of the screen as I can get it. This looks pretty good here. Now I have a circle but I need to remove the circle so I can see through it. So what you do now is you hit the delete button or the delete key on your keyboard. And now you see the white and gray checkerboard which means that that is transparent and I can see through it. Next things I need to do is create the crosshairs. So I'm going to go to the rectangle tool. I'm going to left click that. And I'm going to make a line going from the top to the bottom. Try to get it close to the middle as possible. Didn't really like that. So I'm going to go back up here so that it's not showing. So the beauty of starting up here is that I don't have to undo anything because I'm not really under canvas where I need anything. So I'm going to left click and drag this rectangle all the way down. And I'm going to try to get it just the width of one of these rows of gray or white. Whatever you want to call them. Checkerboards. So I have that done. So now I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool again. And I'm going to left click on it. It's already on black. So I'm just going to put my cursor here and click. And I have a black line down the middle. I need a black line going across. So I'm going to go back to the rectangle tool. You'll see a theme here in a minute of this rectangle tool. Okay. I use it a lot during this tutorial. And I think that's a little bit too wide. Is it? It's a little bit too wide. Let's try it again. Once again I want to start off the canvas. I like that better. Bring it all the way across. Let go. So I did a, once again left click and drag it across. And once I got over here I let go of the left mouse. I'm going to go back to the paint bucket tool. The theme only gets deeper. And I'm going to click left mouse click to make those black. Now, you can stop here if you want to, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go back to our old friend, the rectangle tool again. And this time I'm going to make some lines a little bit thicker. I don't like where I started off there. And I'm going to go about three things down. still don't like that too much. So I'm a bit of a perfectionist, if you haven't noticed by now. Alright, so I like that better. Now I'm gonna make this black as well. So back to the paint bucket. Theme keeps on going. Back to the rectangle tool. So you can tell this is just like a more um 
professional looking scope really that I'm doing you don't have to go all out like this but I like it like this go back to the paint bucket and then once I get all of these things done you can catch up with me and I'll show you the next step now that I have the crosshair set up see how beautiful it looks with all the you know little extra piece that I put around near the perimeter last thing that you could do if you don't want to you can stop here but you can go one step further I'm gonna go to the line tool the line in the S or curve tool if I left click on this I'll bring my mouse over and I can make little lines going across to make it look even more realistic and professional so you just left click where you want to bring the line across make sure it's straight you gotta hold the left mouse button down then let it go and you got a line so you want to do that all the way up and down or all the way down whichever direction you're going and then also all the way across the sides. You want to left click, drag your mouse down, hold the mouse and the left click button down. And once you notice your line is straight and as long as you need it to be, just let it go. And then you just keep going all the way across. If I were you, I'd try to use the gray and the white little squares here as a guide. Make sure you got everything straight. I'm not going to show you how to go all the way across with these lines because it'd be a waste of my time and a waste of yours. So I'm not going to waste your time. And I sure as hell ain't going to waste mine. So there it is. We got the crosshairs done. Now we made the middle of this transparent, but we have to save it as a PNG image so that it stays transparent when you put it into your video. So if you go to File, Save as. Make sure that PNG is selected here. You have a lot of different choices. If you click the drop down arrow, you make sure that it's PNG because what a PNG image does is it'll make sure that anything that you have that's transparent stays transparent when you put it into your video. Name it what you want. Make sure you save it in the location you want to and click on save. It's going to show you a quick preview. Preview is just going to look black. Don't worry about that because it's all transparent and see-through, so it's going to look black. Once you're done looking at the preview, you just click OK. It saves it to the location where you selected it to be saved to. Only thing you got left to do is to place this crosshair into the video editing software of your choice. Here we are in Cyberlane Power Director 11 Ultimate. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and use this crosshair now. So I'm going to drag this video clip down into the timeline. Now I'm going to drag my crosshair that I created down into the timeline on the track beneath it. And there you go. Crosshair is all set up, beautiful and ready to go. Let's hit play. And there it is. So if you like the content of this video, you like what I do, you want others to see it, you want others to know the quality of what VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com brings to the table, click the thumb that's pointed in the upward direction, click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Comments, you know I like comments and you know if you ask me a question I'll get back to you. If I can't help you I'll point you in the right direction to get the help that you deserve. And last. But definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.